Hey guys, Ravi here from Ira FX and I'm back with another exciting tutorial. So before heading into the tutorial, I request you to check my Patreon account wherein you have some exclusive downloads for visual effects and motion graphic templates. So today we are going to learn how to make this animation in Adobe After Effects. So this is Ink Splash logo reveal animation and this is a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know to use Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 making the background, step 2 making the ink drop and step 3 animating our logo. So in the first step, let me create a new composition. Let me name this ink logo reveal and I set this to 1080p and 10 seconds duration and click OK. So in order to create a background, let me create a new solid. You can have any kind of background. It all depends on how you want your animation to look like. Um, let me simply type in gradient ramp and drag this effect onto my background layer. Let me rename this solid to PG just in case. And I set the start of ramp to 960, 540, 3000, 1080. Set this to radial ramp and set this color to a light greenish color and swap the colors. Yep, this looks good for me. So uh, we are done with the background. So now in order to create a ink effect, click on this ellipse tool here and make sure that the fill is set to solid color. Click OK. And the stroke is set to none. Click OK. And you have this blue color so that it looks like uh, ink. And create an ellipse, something like this. All right, and let me rename this to ink and go to the first frame. Click on P on your keyboard such that you see these positions. Click on the timer button here and set this to negative 100 or 200 such that it moves out of a composition and go to around one second forward and increase this value such that it comes down like this here and move to around 30 sec 30 frames forward or 15 frames forward and set this back to the top like this and select these three keyframes and from keyframe assistant set this to easy ease so now if i play this our ink layer comes down like this drops one ink drop that we are gonna create now and goes back to the top. So in order to create a water drop or an ink drop, create a new solid. Let me set this color to the one that we choose for the ink. Let me name this to drop and click uh, on this ellipse button here and create a small circle. This size looks good to me and expand this mask button here and select one of the masks that you have this top one I want to change this one so I simply create a water drop by adjusting this like this just this like perfect this now looks like a water drop to me and go to the first frame click on P on your keyboard 
and set a keyframe at the first frame and move this to top somewhere here along with the ink that is falling from the top and go to around here and set this value to here such that it it is in the center so if I start playing this this is how it is going to look like this looks good to me you can simply add a motion blur if you want it to look natural uh, it's all up to you and the next thing that we do is the ink splash effect I have this um, element from I downloaded it from uh, production crate which has got some amazing uh, uh, you know what do you call you amazing uh, elements that you can actually download for free um, they have got tons of ink splash effects and I choose one of them if you are a pro member you can download it all the elements that you can use for your motion graphics so I drag this um, ink splash effect onto the composition let me just expand this and it has to start as soon as the drop falls in at the center and it has to start here and from the effects and presets panel I type in fill and drag this fill effect onto my splash element and set this color to the same color as the drop and as soon as it drops here it expands like this and let me just trim this drop like this now duplicate this ink splash effect by holding ctrl d on your keyboard and select one of it and from time time stretch stretch set the set stretch factor to 25 negative 25 such that it gets reversed as soon as the splash expands something like it strings like this right looks good to me so the last thing that is left is to simply add a logo in between this splash effect so let me first pre-compose these two things to a new composition let me name this to splash and I have this logo here let me drag this onto my composition let me just scale this such that it fits in between the splash pre-compose this logo like this we name this to logo comp and duplicate this splash effect holding ctrl D and make sure that the logo comp is between these two splash effects and from uh, toggle switches button here switch the modes and if you don't find this track mat modes here right click here and from columns make sure that the modes is enabled so set this logo to alpha matte splash layer so we are done with the animation and you can see that our logo appears the ink splash that is generated this looks good to me but at this point just adjust this um, both the splash effects like so so we are done with the animation if you are looking for more visual effects and tutorials consider subscribing to my channel and you can also follow me on instagram at vfx guy ravi see you guys next time with another tutorial